What's up, everybody? Welcome to my channel. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back to the old subscribers. Doing some mid month readings. I'm on the sign of Capricorn. Last but never least. No, no, no. Last but never least. So. Blocking somebody out of your life right now. Um, be careful that you're not blocking new opportunities, though, because this could bring about some type of ending for you. Some of you guys, it might be time to go to counseling and talk about some mental health things, whatever you kind of have going over and over in your head. Some of you guys are going to be fighting for a home or, um, what is it called, a settlement, um, because I think that maybe someone was trying to, te to keep you part of yours or just overall trying to balance some things out in your life, especially financially. Temperance, there we go. Balance, baby. Six of Swords. Calmer Waters. After we get this balance. Um, Princess of Cups. Getting our emotions under control. Not really talking about them so much, but I think you're getting better. Whereas before, you were completely closed. But the Temperance card wouldn't be here if it wasn't balanced. You have the Lovers. Six of Cups. Prince of Cups, you guys could be, could be soulmate energy, somebody you've known a long time, Nine of Pentacles, or you could, um, if you're having twins, it could be a boy and a girl, Six of Wands, The Hangman, Six of Pentacles, Three of Wands, Strength, and The Devil. You guys are involved with someone who cares a lot about you. Um, you guys could be kind of in that lovey-dovey phase, you know. Um, pretty hot and heavy for some of you guys. Some of you guys are dealing with the Gemini, some of you guys are dealing with the Sag. Um, could be a Leo. I think that... There's something that you're holding on to pretty tight and kind of like keeping your cards close to your chest, but at the same time, it's going to bring you this success as well as, you know, you becoming um, independent. And I know that's important for you guys. If you've been waiting on a loan or if you've been waiting on um, some help, maybe financially, I feel like that's here, but you need to have a positive mindset and let the fear go because... Of course, this motherfucker is going to come in and try to convince you otherwise, you know. Have some confidence that you will get this loan, that you will be successful, that um, maybe it's a good thing you didn't tell everyone about this because maybe people talk too much or you just felt like you don't want to tell people until um, you're ready, which I think is fine as well. Um, I think that if you're worried about will you be okay financially, you will be. It's just like, some of you guys maybe start doing yoga. I just got that out of nowhere. I feel like that could help you relax. Um, but I think that if you do want to talk about stuff, there you do have people in your life that would be willing to listen. Um, like an unbiased opinion or just someone that could you could vent to. Seven of Swords. King of Cups and the Judgment card. I think that some of you guys are trying to make this decision, but you're not really telling a lot of people. And this is something you care a lot about, or this person, maybe at one point you cared a lot about this person, but their attitude with you is really shitty. But I think they're holding on to you. They never really told you how they felt about you. I feel like you might be having a conversation with this person soon, and 
you got your sword up like listen motherfucker <laughs> just listen try to listen to what this person has to say and know that either way this person regrets what they said and you can manifest whatever it is that you want into your life and you're going to be happy and good either way okay listen to your intuition knowing what it is that you want and going towards it um I think that this is a positive read for you guys, that you're coming into calmer water, things are going to be balanced, you know, you have someone that cares a lot about you. It almost makes me sick looking at these cards, how cute you guys are together. But I see victory, you know, I see stability, I see um, you kind of getting your power back a little bit, having more confidence in yourself and, and communicating that with people. Don't be afraid to ask for a raise or ask for a loan or apply for one. Even if um, you don't have an answer right away, you will. And you're going to get it. So, Akuna Matata. Maybe you guys are trying to get a house, an apartment, or maybe you just need some help right now. Or you just want this person that you're with to, um, you know, maybe work on their communication and give you what, you know, make sure things are even between you both and not, like, keep things from you and not tell you things. But I think that if that's what you want in another person, then we have to practice that same behavior, right? You're used to doing things on your own. You're used to being completely independent. And you're used to kind of getting a lot of attention. <laughs> and I think that things are changing, you know. Um, playfulness. <laughs> passion. Free yourself. Calling in your soulmate. Attraction. Um, there's a lot of things going on and I don't know, it's two different things. This could be the person that you're not really happy with, that you're really attracted to. You Maybe you're reminiscing about uh, the Netflix and chill, but I feel like if there's any negative thoughts about this person, try to release yourself from them because you're replaying old memories and your subconscious needs to be cleared. Um, this person could be talking to you telepathically, um, maybe... That's why you're thinking about them randomly, and I think that maybe, um, maybe it's just going to be having a conversation like, listen, I didn't know that this was going to go down like this, but I, you know, we have fun, I had, I don't know, <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what to say, but I don't think it's going to be a bad conversation, so breathe and don't get all weird and have anxiety. See a lot of sun energy, and um, that's the solar plexus. So I feel like your self confidence is getting better because you've been out in the sun, maybe, and you're kind of taking that time out for yourself. But you're glowing. You know what I mean? Maybe you guys need to know that. So have more confidence in yourself. Um, know that you're you're vibrating in um, a degree where you can get the things that you want. If you see something and you go after it, you're probably gonna get it. So don't get stuck in your head and think, oh, I can't have that or, you know what I mean, whatever bullshit-ass programming you're listening to. Speak it into the universe. Taking back the confidence, having more confidence in yourself in that, illuminating that also can bring in balance in your life because I think that you can get whatever it is that you want and you're going to be a good mother. You're going to be this stay-at-home wife. Maybe you can figure out a way to teach some yoga classes from home and make some money and start a business. I don't know. What do y'all want to do? You know? Don't focus on lack. Um, think of only your desires and never your fears. That's all I have for you guys. Have a good month.